before there were cell phones and sh the only way that you could contact the girl was you have to ask her for her, her home phone number, you'd have to write it down on a napkin and you would go home and then you have to call the other person's house and then the parent would pick up. So you actually needed to have some balls when fucking Mrs. Parker picks up the phone. Hey, Miss Parker, is uh, is Susan there? Yeah, who's this? Uh, it's Kyle. Kyle? Yeah, we, we met at the roller rink last week. Oh, okay. Susan, Kyle's on the phone. Fuck. Hello? Hey, what's up? How you doing? That's how you would set up the f***ing date. So it actually made sense. But nowadays when we have cell phones, we got texting, we got Snapchat, we got Instagram, it doesn't make f***ing sense for you to say, hey, can I get your number? And the girl's like, but even if the girl likes you and she says, okay, she's probably thinking in her mind like, okay, but like for what? If she doesn't like you and you ask for the phone, she's gonna be like, uh, no. You agree to do an activity and then we're about to separate. So it's like, wait, how are we gonna do that activity together? No shit, we're gonna have to stay in touch. Now the phone number makes, hey, I know we already agreed to do that thing and I'm gonna leave, so I'll keep in touch. What's your number? Boom, it all aligns that way. The reason I'm dragging out this story is to make sense of it all for you, because sometimes as humans, we just process stories more than just concepts, but think back to that story of little Kyle calling Miss Susie Parker. True story, actually, this girl Holly called me from the roller rink when I was like fuck 12. That story, is a concept that you could embed into your brain to understand the next time you're in an interaction and it's going good with the girl. Get her to agree to do an activity and then the phone number makes sense to get after. So it goes agree to activity, get phone number, and ideally advanced level while we're exchanging phone numbers and there's that silence because I hand her the phone and she's typing her number in and I'm just sitting there Find out her availability because you don't want to have to go home and do this whole texting sequence. Find out her availability in the moment. What are you up to this weekend? You got anything fun planned? She starts talking, you talk a little bit and set a plan in the moment. Cool, maybe we could do something Saturday or maybe Sunday evening. I'll hit you up tomorrow and we can lock it in. Or does Saturday work? Okay, cool, yeah, let's do Saturday. I'll text you tomorrow, it was a pleasure meeting you. And I walk away with the plan set in stone and it makes the texting so much easier, man. I hate getting a meaningless number and guys go home. Got the girl's number, now what? I don't know, what did you discuss, dude? Are we just cold messaging? It can work for sure, but I just think, man, like this process just streamlines it. So the more the girl knows what's going on and she already agreed to it, it can be very easy. You can run an interaction so well that I don't even text. I run like no text text game. I just tell the girl, we're gonna do it like on this day. Okay, cool, honestly, I don't really text that much. I just send voice messages or phone call. I might just call you. Do you like talking on the phone or not really? The more you could set up the plan with her before you leave, it makes the texting sequence really easy. Even if you don't lock it in, like locking it in is even better. Sometimes it doesn't always happen, but just have at least a little bit of a plan. I might even just set a plan where she's like, I don't know this weekend, like I might be able to Saturday, it just depends on if I'm working or not. I might be like, okay, cool. Like, well, I might be going out with friends. I don't know yet either, but let's do this. I'll hit you up on Friday and we can lock something in. I'll hit you up Friday when I'm finishing up at work and then maybe we can lock something in. So it's just like, we just know, we both know what the fuck is going on. It takes the guesswork out of it. And then the more she knows the plan and has agreed to it, it's just more likely to convert versus there's no plan and you're trying to just steer the ship somewhere blindly. It's like, can it work? Yeah, if you, if you know what the fuck you're doing, absolutely it can work. Again, I'm speaking from experience, this works the most effectively.